Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Tarot Odyssey. Today's read is going to be about summer love predictions. Who is coming in for you? What's their profession, their zodiac, their personality? And again, if you've seen several of my or other readers' um, dates, times, and zodiacs, don't take anything apt for an absolutism, okay? Because there's lots of variants that can change things, and intuitively you'll feel what's going on and you know, if you watch several things, of course, you're going to get several different viewpoints because it's for a collective. So, you know, don't let that get you all stirred up because we're looking for long-term success here. And the summer love is really like a portal to insane love matches and soul connections. But something that's happening right now for, for y'all and myself as well is this crazy, you know, Oh my God, this cancer energy where people are very emotional. They're fluctuating up and down. And I have to say, this is true for myself. I always wake up in a good mood because I supercharge myself before I even move. But what happens is I'll start to do something and right away, I'm an impatient person. I'll go, oh my gosh, this is so tedious. I can't do this forever. What is this my whole life? You know, whether I'm writing or whatever is going on, like this impatience, this weird thing, it's like, I don't know why everything is so exacting and so potent and so emotional, but we're all going to be riding these waves and just know that everything is temporary. Embrace this feeling. At least you're having these feelings and you're not totally numb or just by realizing that they come and go is a relief in itself. So we will have fluctuations. <laughs> so let's see what's going on for these um, summer love predictions but something a message I was hearing very strongly for you guys it's really time for you to create your summer vision board it's going to inspire and motivate you so if you see it every day it's going to remind you why you want to pursue these goals and remind you what's important to you and what to really focus on and maintain your focus to reach your goals really by seeing it every day I have pinnings all over my room I'm like Yes, that's what I'm working towards. And sometimes we drop the ball and we're like, you know what? I'm going to refocus on this because where my focus goes is where my energy, my results go. And I really want this, okay? So a love vision board, how, you know, you're taking steps towards that. Are you going to events? So on and so forth, okay? So we have three choices today. We have everything is green and yellow. I felt really lush green and yellow. I was looking at color wheels this morning and I just love the vibrancy and youth of these colors. So number one is Field of Dreams. And I also have on my um, my raw emerald. I was like, this matches. So Field of Dreams is number one. Timeless Earth is number two. And Rose Petals is number three. So I'm going to let you have a look at those. And yeah, as a reminder where you're thinking of these, really, really start your gratitude list when you wake up and thank the universe for everything it's already giving us so it can perpetuate that goodwill and bring that high vibration and frequency, which draws the right kind of love to us, right? So we're actually, when we start, I'm going to ask about what their professions can possibly be. So let me give these, I actually got Doreen Virtues. If you guys are wondering about um, these cards that I'm using for this, it's um, Doreen um, Virtues Life Purpose and Oracle card. She's lovely. So let's see, one of the possibilities for them is they can be a speaker and or work with animals. So they understand animals, they communicate with them intuitively, they trust their guidance with them, and they are part of their life's work as well as speakers. These people can be a whole spectrum of things. They can be, I feel like a lot of these people are actually speakers on YouTube. They're intuitives, they're motivators, they're light workers. They can be people that are like of the Tony Robinson ilk. Is it Tony Robbins or Robinson? I think it's Tony Robbins ilk where they just are sheer motivators. They know how to tap into people's potentialities and really get them worked up and get them going and get them um, excited about things. So those are lovely possibilities. Now, this is a reminder that they are going to teach you of when you run into them. It's okay to be different. And oftentimes, you know, we don't need to be like anybody else. We are perfect just the way we are. And some people think they're misfits or they um, need to change in some regard to fit into a mold, to meld in. Absolutely not. Original thinking and originality is more seductive and beautiful and wonderful than anything else. You ever just have that person that just says things, they have such wit or charm or whatever it is about them. It's so different. Like well, I remember the first time I saw Beetlejuice, I loved Winona Ryder's character because she was so 
I don't want to be on this earth with these weird people that sort of thing like she was into her photography and her own stuff and everything else seemed mo so mundane and ho-hum that sort of thing whatever you have that aspect of yourself that makes you different really really embrace it because that's what's going to draw in this love for you this summer and really make you sparkle to them now two of their personality I'm, I'm sorry two of their um two of their possible zodiacs are Sagittarius and Cancer. Now Sagittarius is always the adventurer and the truth seeker and you know they pull back that bow and they're going to find out where this information came from, what this person is really like, where things originate from. They really are philosophers and fun interesting people. Not to toot my own horn. <laughs> no, I'm a Sagittarius and I really want to know what's what. I always have ever since I was a child. I'm like, I'm going to find out where that came from and I'm going to find out if that's true. Like, seriously, if I, if I would hear something from history that sounded too bizarre to be a reality, I would find out and I would research it. That's where my propensity for, I think, psychology came into things was... Um, just hearing stories and biographies of people going, really? People really thought that way and did that ever since I was young. And right away, I started studying psychiatry and um, psychology right away to see the human psyche and how it could be so tenacious, like Madame Curie, people like that. They really sparked something in me. Um, Louisa May Alcott, and she's a Sagittarius too, like uh, just all those things, you know, like I need to know. And cancer is beautiful. They are the beautiful poets and the um, highly emotional people of the world too. They feel things so deeply. You always want to sort of think carefully before you say something to a cancer, even off the cuff, because they feel it deeply. It cuts deeply, especially if it's a criticism because they are so sincere and so loving and so hypercritical of themselves that they don't need somebody from the outside world doing that. And I feel like that's lovely. And I feel What's, I'm going to do a um, quick shuffle of my tarot too because I want to incorporate this in there because I'm having strong pull towards um, <sighs> these love portals just opening up and what is precipitating them and what might be blocking them. Okay, so three of swords. So what you need to go do right away is let go of any past hurts or um, feelings of doubt because something had... look Because look what's coming in. These were your past blockages. Seven is conflict. Three is um, three of three of swords is absolute heartbreak. I feel like you have suffered heartbreak in the past, but when we go and we revisit that constantly, we can really only be in one emotional state at a time. So if we're in hurt, regret, pain, we don't have love, joy, and anticipation coming in, right? So that's what needs to be released. Also conflict, you don't always, seven of wands is standing up for what you believe in and your principles. So always keep that with you, but you don't have to do it to a point where you're isolated. We can take in other people's perspective the perspectives and navigate with that and around that and through that but we don't have to be so obstinate that we cut out all these possibilities because they don't think in and, and act our exact way and look at that look at the breakthrough the all gifted you're realizing now that you have all these potentialities and opportunities right at your fingertips if you will just give them a chance that's all it is it's removing this and not anticipating that because again we can be in only really feel that one emotional state at a time so why not let it be joyful anticipation of the gifts to come of this love that's arriving of this beautiful person with these rich adventures under their belt to share with us and I feel like this you're going to feel a wash with this anticipation for love therefore you're also I'm hearing that you know you're because you're feeling good you really want to reach like your fitness goals this summer you're radiating this health you're embracing the unknown and you're ready to chase some adventure is what's going to to bring this into to you to really let it arrive at your doorstep and you're feeling good and it's time that you feel good you know a major victory and immediate victory is on the horizon for you group one I feel this this all gifted card is you making a breakthrough and this beauty arriving for you so love and light too if you're new to the channel don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you want a private read my Etsy store all fun and goodies are down there so just have a look and come see me on Instagram it's sparkwist11 I do daily posts I message with everybody it's so so much fun I enjoy it very very much yeah just imagine the possibilities you guys because it's coming it's just right there at your fingertips a really major victory is coming I feel it I really really feel 
that you're going to end up in a great partnership that you're deserving of it and you know that's the conclusion just a good love story so beautiful energy so now we're on turn on to number two which is timeless earth and we're going to see what the first message is for you so your first message oh i love this is imagine so this is going to open a portal right in your mind right now what would you see feel think and hear if your wish came true if your love wish for this perfect person this dynamic match this um exacting love this personal best is coming in what would you be what what would it look like that's part of the vision board process that i'm always telling people will be helpful with them and be a constant reminder of of what they need and what they're bringing into themselves and what will help them okay so really do that because it helps you get a um focus and maintain focus on these love goals or anything that you need to be reminded what's important to you okay so get that imagination going so now we're going to find out what their possible professions can be here so let me give these a good shuffle i have so much weird cards over here that i mix and match everything all right let's give them a shuffle okay so study they could be into reading research education and yeah look teaching yeah so this is definitely somebody's into study and teaching and research it can be a researcher it can be a teacher whether it's like online whether it's in a classroom um a life coach i feel too studying these are people i feel that also study the esoteric and healing arts as well so it, there is a possibility that you may be taking a course or wondering about a course and you may be on social media discussing with people and that's where you meet the significant other and i'm very in awe and respectful of people that are able to teach i think that's why so long ago i decided when i was in the studying these techniques of speed reading I was like, why am I doing all this? And then I realized it's because I wanted to be able to gather a lot of information quickly and be able to turn it around and make it in a really simple format and teachable terms for other people. Cause I get really excited about information that can help myself and other people. Um, whether it's diet, esoteric crystals, healing, um, what I'm channeling, history, anything like that. It's very, very important that information is shared that is beneficial to the whole, right? And I feel like this person has that capacity. Now, two possible signs. Let's see what's going up. They can be a Capricorn and they can also be an Aries. Aries is magnificent when it comes to being so impassioned about something and wanting to share a message. Lots of Aries are fantastic cooks. They are very into food and the benefits of food. So I feel like this is one of their um, innate abilities to be able to cook and prepare really beautiful, healthful food. Capricorn, very grounded, very solid. They always know how to take care of things monetarily and cross those T's and get things done. Very reliable. They're the people that will make sure, you know, your windows don't lose um heat in the winter time that your air C, that your ac is working properly all these things very very grounded earthy um maintenance procedures you know things like that which is funny and i feel that this person may be actually someone who comes in your home and fixes something it's one of your utilities for you one of your appliances that's a very good possibility i'm feeling right now too so those are some very good signs now Part of what's bringing this love energy to you is your inner queen, your inner passion. This card totally represents a balance in your um, passion house where, you know, you're realizing I have all these feelings and there's a reason for them. That's why I feel like radiant and I feel like all possibilities are open to me right now because I'm emitting all these good vibrations. It's pulling in love to me and the inner queen always has that. The inner queen is a beautiful yin receptive energy where you're no longer chasing, struggling, or feeling feeling a lack no more yearning you know it is now coming to you and um it's just sort of like being ushered in it's beautiful and i feel like you are going to end up in a great partnership due, due to this because you're radiating right now it's really beautiful you're being rewarded in all this gorgeous um love play because i feel currently you may be feeling like in the recent past burdened or lonely and that is super temporary and now over because there's vibrancy and this realization that you are a high value person that every original person has their own beautiful um 
other original person for them and that they're moving and always working their way towards you and by reaching a high vibration and frequency by believing in this loving pulling it to you it, it arrives and it's it's amazing and it's miraculous now here's some of your cards we're gonna see what is going on yeah see there was a stagnancy and a a woo. I love that ten of pentacles there was a stagnancy in your feeling and your believability of this and i feel like with this you know cancer emotions coming in in this cancer season the people fluctuate they roller coaster they feel something so deeply like oh my god this vast chasm of nobody or anything or connectivity or lack of connectivity is endless you know what i mean and we get very theatrical about it and everything is so but then boom, we roller coaster back at the, that apex and we're like you know what no it's my time for connecting it is i'm receiving these messages i'm looking for long-term success my fears are not based on reality they are temporary um just little flits that's all they are is little flits and they're dissipating and they're breaking you out of this hangman state and bringing you into this ten of pentacles feeling abundant feeling the love rush over you knowing the possibilities knowing the opportunities feeling awash with lucky vibrations and love and releasing any fears you know really um having great availability to positivity at any time just by looking at a beautiful painting or photograph right realizing you know that we are all queens and kings in our realms and we can draw in the highest possible love impassioned people amazing people responsible people people that want to teach and learn and grow and help us and imagining what you could have in this life through them just think it feel it and it'll start to arrive for you so beautiful energy group too i love that for you if you're new to the channel don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read um hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come in come see me on instagram which is sparkrest11 all my goodies are down there and i want to thank my patrons for all your support and my information for that is down there as well beautiful beautiful yeah it is timeless earth it, it always comes back around it time it, everything is so cyclical it re-arrives for us this abundance is passion this gorgeous you know uh, enraptured feeling with love life and feeling it literally feeling the energetic pulses that are coming your way so beautiful now we're into group three which is rose petals right away this group your first thing sacred pleasure you're starting to feel this is you knowing that you're energetically connected to this special someone and when we start with gratitude for the fact that we're here first of all and that they are also here and that what is meant for us is making its way to us and is not going to pass us by we're having hopes desires dreams we're focusing in on goals we're feeling really good and again we're able to, to imbibe our feelings with um subdued calm of its impending arrival that we don't have to struggle and chase that it's just coming that is sacred pleasure knowing that these things are coming to us i feel this group too you need to look out for your next because as soon as i started reading this i had this weird shooting pain go down the right side of my neck several times so if you guys are experiencing that really um, make sure you have the right kind of pillows when you're sleeping you're sitting the right way as soon as i started talking about it, the pain disappeared but as soon as i tuned into a couple of you i had this just muscle ache pain and tightness in my neck so tension is carried oftentimes in people's necks so remember to do deep breathing okay i feel like you're unchaining this beautiful passion that it's a whole revision in your life where now there's a variance where you allow things and ideas that you didn't before because you're like oh that's not possible now you're going yep it's possible it certainly is and you're going to feel this cascade of um power and possibility all around you you're going to become more genuine in what you really want you're going to have a lot more autonomy you're not leaning on people places and things you know where you want to go and you realize a divine alchemy is moving its way towards you and you know i love that it's like a transmutation and metamorphosis into all this blossoming possibility because you know it's there and this particular person i love i love their i'm already feeling their energy it's very leo and it's very scorpio it's very determined it's very fiery it's very charming and these people have candor but purity of heart certainty in where they're going they're absolute genuine there is no messing around they're like they yeah they're going to shift your perspective into this really beautiful um sweet temperance that you're going to have and i love this variance because it's about pure possibility 
and endurance and seeking this. And this is going to have a lot of serendipity, karma, kismet, weird flukes going on and how you meet them. It's, you know, going to be like almost near misses again, where you were like, oh, I wasn't going to go there. Now you ended up going there. But this has a lot, these, both of these signs, this is completely about temptation, seduction, tantalizing. They are going to be so enticed by you. They're not going to be able to get enough of being around you and texting you and wanting to be with you. I mean, your allure factor is skyrocketing in the next couple of weeks. There's something about a reality you're going to wake up to about yourself and what a beautiful, original awesome person you are and you're going to start to radiate this charm that makes you so alluring i mean and enticing to others it's amazing this is reminding me of that that bit in legends of the fall where albert is saying to tristan i don't know why i do everything right i do everything property i do properly i do everything truthful and honest yet you're everybody's favorite your father's favorite you do whatever the hell you want whenever you want you're impulsive you're reckless yet everybody loves you everybody wants to be around you remember albert yelling at tristan like that it's like that you're just going to come out like that and be this original person that everybody's drawn to they don't want the severe the severe person the always solid person they want you because you're just now this Tristan type of person which is really beautiful yeah and you're granted clemency for all your flightiness because it's just true original power that you're coming through and this person to they are writers and they are travelers. This person's vocation is they they write blogs, they travel, they might be one of those great people that um, work for agencies and write them up or wanna go try out different areas and make these um, beautiful possibilities available to people by saying, listen, you can do this if you do this, you know. But they're, I've seen very Bear grill style people where they're like fun and survivalist and amazing, but they're whimsical and fun as well. So. Don't let other people talk you into doing anything that you don't want to do. Follow your bliss because it's going to lead you to this person, which is wonderful. So love and light to you. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below. Love and light.